Hello, everyone. My first time ever going live. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I am here today to answer some questions that I keep getting calls about. I keep getting calls asking the details of where my son could be. Um, what did I? What do I know? Last his last phone call, his last whereabouts. What am I thinking? Who do I think is involved? And I think it's time for me to just explain a little, a couple things to you all. I'll start, and I guess if no one's here to watch, you can watch it live another time. So, Cortez has been missing for twelve days. Um, his last known location is Rockford. Michigan um, at the McDonald's right there on Division and what, what is that? Division and Wolverine. He was with a, two guys. They were in a car. They decided that they um, saw police and they wanted to get out of there. So they went and they parked their car at McDonald's and they ran. Cortez did not get apprehended. The other two kids got apprehended. Cortez's last phone call was at 146 to a friend that was in the car with him. And Cortez said he was in behind the house hiding. And that's all they know. The other guy says Cortez was running up the belt line when he saw him last. So last phone call he made, last phone activity, last anything was at 146 today. A lot of people are calling me asking me, do I think he's a suspect or did he do anything foul? Uh, at the moment, no, I don't think he's a suspect. I would love to talk to him, but I don't think he's a suspect. Um, his dad has called Junior's dad, Cortez's dad, but I haven't spoke to him, and I have plenty of questions, but that's neither here nor there. He's not a suspect to me. Neither of the guys that was last with my son is a suspect to me. Um, Cortez's phone last pinged in the area at 4.18 a.m., um, his phone could be lost or, I don't know, it died maybe at 4.18 a.m. And that's the last known location of the phone. I don't I don't feel any foul play with that either. Um, he could have just dropped it. He was in a wooded area, in a swampy area, running in the middle of the night in the dark. So he wouldn't have been able to find the phone if he wanted to. So um, that's the, that's the main question I'm getting. Everybody wants to know, did he have a phone? Did he have an Apple Watch? Did he have any AirPods to track? His phone was tracked, and his phone was pinged at 4, 18 a.m. in Rockford. Um, suspicions out of that, I don't have any. I just feel like he may have dropped his phone. Um, so we move on to him getting back to Grand Rapids. If this is the case, if he got back to Grand Rapids, no, let me step back. So how do I know his phone pinged? I have a detective working the case, um, two detectives working the case. One is a phone detective. He gave me that information. And I have a woman detective who told me her and her crew took dogs to Rockford and drones to Rockford and canvassed that area for six hours on Sunday, the, set, the 3rd, November 3rd. So um, Monday, she also went out there herself as well after we searched that area. Um, we all come up with nothing. That area has been drawn for miles by a volunteer man named John. He's awesome. Um, he's drawn for miles and miles and heat censored for miles. Comes up with nothing. The police come up with nothing. So that's that leaves me to believe Cortez is here in Grand Rapids somewhere hiding. Do I know where? No. That's my faith. I'm holding on to faith that my baby is just in this town somewhere hiding. So uh, please, anybody, anybody, I mean anybody, let us know if you know anything. I talked to my detective and she told me that people are calling in all day, all day, silent observer, all day. But they're worried about this money. You will get the money. I don't need to see your face. I don't need to see who you are. I don't need to see anything. I don't even need your name. Just Tell me where he is. I go get him. You get the money straight away. Um, I had to clear that up. She she said that that was an issue when people call in. Um, everybody wants to remain anonymous, and you can. I, I'm not looking to see who you were. Um, also, I was told to clear up um, 
mainly if I had any, if any, if any of the young men were suspects. No, they're not. Um, I was told to clear up if I think anybody is a suspect. I don't. I just, I feel as, I feel deep in my heart and my faith is telling me my son is okay. But where? Where? Where are you? Um, so my live today is to let everybody know, if you see my son, please, please take a picture. Please take a picture. Please take a picture. Please call me in a moment. Um, I know it's not it's snitching if you call me or call the cops. Hang it up. You, that, that snitching business is, is, is just leaving hundreds of people heartbroken. My family is heartbroken. Me, I'm heartbroken. I can't even think. I can't work. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. And I just wish that the community would know Cortez is love. He's not a gangster. He's not a criminal. He's not a threat. He's not anything. Any of this. He's not a runaway. He wasn't depressed. Oh, that's another thing I need to. I'm getting tons of questions. Is he mentally ill? No, not at all. Is he depressed? No, not at all. Did he have an argument with mom or dad? No, not at all. I, I, I said in a, in a post and maybe some people didn't see it. Cortez and I were talking on the phone all, all that earlier that day, and he was begging me, Mom, Mom, please bring some AirPods. Bring them, bring them, bring them. Calling me over and over and over. So I finally took him. I took him to his job. We had a conversation. He was not upset. He even told his manager, I'll see you tomorrow. So he wasn't running away. Uh, when he left the house, he left the fireplace on and a candle burning. He left his key in the house. He left his AirPods and his ID and his debit card. He didn't plan on being gone. So I wanted to clear that up as well. Um, I just ask for continuous support from you all. Um, it's been it's been amazing to have all the support that I do have, but it's not over. We have to keep looking um, as a community. Um, if you're if if you're just if I saw somebody that may be him. I'll take the picture. I'll take the lead. I'll, I'll listen to what you say. I'm not closed off to any ideas of my son being found. Um, we have faith. Um, I can I can be on this live right now with a with a sound mind because I have faith in God. I have faith. I have huge faith. I have tremendous faith. I have unwaverly faith that my God would not would not give me one of those little guys. One guy. And take him from me. I know he wouldn't do it to me. So I just ask if you see him, if you know anything, please continue to um please continue to um um be, be vigilant, continue to look around. If I'm not answering questions, I don't know how to do that. I've never been on live. So sorry. You can inbox me if you have any questions. I'm hope I hope I'm clearing up everything. I'm getting so many calls just asking all these questions. I can't even think of all the questions right now. Um, everybody's asking, did you try this? Did you try that? Did you try this? We're on day 12. We've tried everything. We've got the um, Rockford Police involved. We've got the uh, City Commissioner involved. We have all news channels with TVA, WZZM, Fox 17, um, King County Sheriff Department, Grand Rapids Police Department. Uh, now we have Wyoming knowing about it. Um, so everybody, all hands are on deck. And I appreciate it so, 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 so much. Just keep our family in your prayers. Just if you see Cortez, please, please, please just approach him. I'm telling you he's not a threat. I know he seems like this big, huge guy, 6'2". He's going to rah, rah, rah. He's going to hurt me. He's not. Please, please, please just keep looking. Keep being vigilant. Keep our family in your prayers. I, I, Like I say, I'm here to clear up all the questions I have in my DM, all the text messages, all the... And I love them, but I can't individually answer each person. So I'm hoping this live clears up a few questions. If I'm not answering your questions that you're asking here, sorry, bear with me. Inbox me again or something. Um, like I say, please, please, please continue to be vigilant. We appreciate all help. Um, my baby will be fine. He will be home. It's my only baby. He's going to be home. Um, continue to keep me in your prayers. Please, please, please. Let me go before I start crying. Thank you all. Have a good day. Bye.